face will be perfect, Peter. Yeah, it sure will, Lois. Now, all we gotta do is name the store. Oh, oh, I got it. Peter's Wife's Cookies. <gasps> I love it. And I love you. Really? Yes. You know, we did so-so building the family, but this business, I think we can really knock it out of the park. Oh, we sure can, Lois. We're gonna be a great team, like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells. <laughs> I can't believe it, Peter. Our first day of business. All right. Well, we have got work to do, so let's roll up our sleeves and get right to it. There's a lot to do, so we can't be afraid to just roll up our sleeves and get the job done. We can't be hands-off managers. we got to roll up our sleeves and just dig in. Peter, your arms are turning purple. Purple with success. That's the color of money. you got to do the work of two men and pay yourself for one. Just roll up those sleeves and address the task at hand, whatever it may be. Not shying away from the dirty work, but just rolling up our sleeves and having at it. Success is not given, it is taken. It's time to get in the game and get dirty. All right, I'm going to lunch. Yes, I'd like a chocolate chip cookie. Elmer? What, Mom? You promised I could get a cookie if I finished all my surgery. Did you? Yeah. All of it? Um. Get back there. I'm going to do it. What does it matter when I do it? Lois, Lois, lock the door. Why? It's that lady who comes in, tries a sample, and then whispers about how bad she is. Hey! Oh, my God, you have chocolate macadamia nut. Oh, could I just try a little sample? Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, sure. You gonna buy a cookie this time? Oh, I better just stick with the sample. I'm so bad. But at least I know I'm bad, so that makes me a little less bad. Or worse. <laughs> that was the right thing to do, Peter. It's been really slow. I mean, if it doesn't pick up soon, we're not going to stay in business very long. Don't you worry, Lois. You keep baking. I'll drum up some business. I've just got to think outside the box, like the makers of dry as ice cream. Uh, I don't know what to do, you guys. The cookie shop is tanking. If it fails, we're screwed. My God, what does it take to get people to buy a damn cookie? Peter, let me tell you something. I spent $600 a month on scented candles at the farmer's market just because there's a hot chick selling them. So what are you saying? You just bragging about candles? a weird thing to brag about. No, I'm saying sex sells. Trust me, you get a few hotties in that cookie shop of yours, I bet your sales will go up. Giggity. That was an unearned giggity, Quagmire. I said up. No. No. Yeah, I'll try anything, Quagmire, because I actually like running that cookie shop. Way better than that job I had telemarketing to buttholes. Hello? Sorry, wrong number. Hello? Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> and how are you today, sir? Oh, my God! Customers! What the hell? Peter, what did you do? I saved our business. And don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie-related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. That's the spirit, Lois. Just you watch. We'll be a bigger success than Richard Branson. This one's our new chocolate white chocolate. And for every dozen we sell, we donate 50 cents to Operation Smile. Yeah, nobody's listening to you. They're all watching Sugar write frosting swears on it jugs. <laughs> She just wrote vagina on her boobs. That didn't even make any sense. She's doing what? I told her ten minutes ago to put another batch of oatmeal in the oven. Oh, that dough is gone, Lois. I warmed it up and put it behind those waist-high holes in the wall. Is it spaghetti? A bowl of grapes? Ooh, this is the best haunted house ever. Peter, this is disgusting. I know we made a few changes, but this store should still be about selling cookies. Why, you're never going to sell any looking like that. 
There. Now you're ready to sell cookies. You know what? That's it. I'm done. I don't know why I ever let you talk me into this... this whatever this is now. It's a strip club that gives away free cookies. Ugh. Oh. Hey. Lois, before you say anything, there's something important I want to tell you. After you left, I ate cookie dough off the stomach of a 20-year-old, and then I vomited, and all the girls laughed at me, and then it came out that they all think I'm fat and old. Is that it? I guess what I'm trying to say is, I was wrong to choose sexiness over my wife. Peter, what are you doing? What, what was that? Oh, back at the store, I uh, tucked my boner into the waistband of my pants, and now it's sitting weird. Huh? Your apology? Well, that and this. Oh, Peter, did, did you bake this? Yeah. I love you, Lois. I really liked having a store with you, and I'm, I'm sorry I messed it up. I was only trying to help. I know, Peter. So you want to split this with me? Uh, I wouldn't. Butter helped me with it, and she has chlamydia fingers. <laughs>